Max is a graphical environment for music, audio, and multimedia. The main document type in Max is called a patcher. A new patcher creates an empty window in which you can connect objects to create complex interactions. Objects are selected from the Object Explorer. Different objects provide different functions. Max ships with over 700 useful objects. Let's create a button. Objects can be resized, moved, duplicated, and connected with patch cords. Test your patch interaction by locking the patcher. Max objects communicate with messages. The button object sends a kind of trigger message called a bang. We can use a bang as an impulse to do things, like produce a random number within a specific range. Let's connect a number box so we can observe the output. Now when we click the button, we get a random value. Or we can count bangs. This counter object will count from 1 to 4 every time it receives a bang. We'll use another number box here to look at the output. Now every time I click this button, the counter will increment. It would be useful if something could pulse this button at a steady rate. Let's generate a pulse with the Metro object. In this case, Metro will send a bang every 120 milliseconds. The Metro object needs an on-off switch, so we'll add a toggle. Find out more about any object with an Alt or Option click. This gesture recalls the help file for that object in the form of a working patcher window. Documentation is tightly integrated with a complete object reference, tutorials, and vignettes. The message box is a common object in Max. You can write anything you like in the message object, and when you click on it, the message is sent to the receiving object. Let's use the message object to load a movie. We can create a message to jump to a specific frame. Hook up a number box to move through frames sequentially. Let's use our random number generator to automatically skip to a random frame. Let's generate a MIDI note. The make note object creates MIDI note messages, which are routed with the note out object. Now we can use a message box to feed make note a pitch. Use a number box to change the pitch message. I'm going to use a MIDI note prototype instead of setting the object properties by hand. Let's take the output of the counter and use it to trigger MIDI notes. The select object looks for matching messages. Each output of the select object corresponds to a message. If we connect a button to each output, that will allow us to see the activity in real time. Now let's make a few duplicates of our note generators and hook them up to the select object to create a simple step sequencer.